Hi guys, welcome to my Tudor Junk Journal. As you can see, it's got a hard cover, which I've just done a gold doily, run this beautiful, lovely, quirky trim down the outside. We've got some sequins, we've got this lovely lace, we've got this wonderful postcard of Catherine Park. If we go inside, we've got a napkin that's been distressed and we've got a few little pockets and this wonderful little handmade tag and the little images that you see have come from a Glenbourne Opera magazine dated 1965. I've done some stamping and I've just made a little ruffle down the outside. These have been coffee stained and then I've just put a little bit of watercolour to grunge them up to make them just a little bit darker. Throughout this journal I've used a lot of different pieces of ephemera. From the opera magazine I've kept in Anne Balencia, an Italian opera on Anne Boleyn. I've enclosed um, King Henry's six wives here and I've just used anything that I've had in my collection. I've done some silhouettes up here from the medieval period. Anything to add a little bit of interest. Here we have Anne of Cleves. I've used a piece of wrapping paper which I've distressed. I put a little napkin flower I've done a ruffle down the outside of this postcard with the actual wrapping paper and put some more pearly trim down the outside. We have a coffee stained piece of paper and yet again one of the scenes that was set for the Italian and Valencia. Here I've used some of my ephemera that I've got in my stash. I've got a few more quirky little cards, little tags here that you can see that I've used a little bit of muslin and I've used some stenciling and again more of the watercolour just to grunge it up and they're both coffee stained. On this piece here we can flip it up for more writing and we've got another scene from Anne Valencia. And these are two pieces from my own collection. This is a cover of an art book which I've just fussy cut out. And I just love the fact that we've got the deers at the top and the scrolls at the bottom. I've made a pocket and in this pocket I have tucked a few cranes. And they basically are like on guard and the one that's holding the stone is the one that is currently on guard whilst the others are fast asleep. We have this little journaling book, plain but with some nice little distressed little pages in there for writing. We have a Buckingham Basildon Bond piece of ephemera which I've coffee stained. This is a piece of stationery. And then this explains about the cranes in Peterborough. This is one of my tags that should be slightly further along in the journal. What I've done is taken a costume book and I've traced round these lovely ladies and then hand coloured. I've given you information about the medieval dress like the chain necklace and pendant and the open centre panel reveals the underdress. So this is period costume and this is just a coffee stained tag. We have a napkin because they were exploring around the world. These wonderful stack of books and a quill. Here we have another piece of medieval painting. We have a Tudor Rose playing card which works as a tuck, so you can put something inside, like so. Also, it can then be folded up 
to reveal another panel for writing. And this is another piece of coffee stained stationery. Here we have this lovely playing card that's behind this tag which is actually glued on to this page which has got a little piece of stamping. Here we have another few journaling tags. So we've got this lovely one of this lovely young lady and this gentleman and I've just done an unusual way of providing a little bit of a pocket here. You can see the tag. I've just split the two pieces that were cut from the original book and I couldn't, I could have put them together but I felt it was quite nice to have them separated thus revealing this little tag in the centre. It still works as a pocket and this one's got a feather also enclosed and a little Tudor rose embossed at the bottom. Another scene set from Anne Balencia and coffee stained paper using a plastic doily. Another scene from Anne Balencia and you can see here is the programme. Lovely napkin and I've just fussy cut these poppies out and here we have Henry VIII on a little playing card here and he's just on a little Tim Holtz clip. We have more information about the opera and we've got these beautiful costumes. This has been put onto tracing paper. I've traced out the little images and these were the ones that I then photocopied and coloured in onto just normal photocopy, photocopy paper and then enclosed them in the journal. This page is blank and I've just put some of the wrapping paper just to add a little bit of interest on this page. Here we have some monks in a cloister. We've got another little tag here and this one I've just put a little velvet crown on and just added a little pearl section on the top and it's tied in to this lined coffee stained paper. As you can see I've put run up the little tag and put a little bow at the top and you can see here this is where I've run and if you wanted to yet again you could tuck something underneath. The page already came with the little holes and it just seemed to me make the most of what you've got and just play and experiment. Here we have Henry VIII and probably Cardinal Wolseley and this has come from a Shakespeare scene. In the centre I've just left it plain. You can see that there are the tied little threads and this is coffee stained with a plastic doily and I thought that's a nice journaling page so I've left it blank. I've made this little pocket and inside I've enclosed Jane Eyre, another little British postcard here. All the information is on the back and it just seems a nice way to use these postcards. Yet again, more roses and I've just taken them from a napkin and I've just fussy cut these lovely leaves and put it into the right hand side because I just thought it looked very pleasant on the page. This is a piece of medieval stonework that's just been drawn out at the top. We've got a few more of the costumes that I've traced off underneath which isn't showing up very, you can see Henry VIII and materialising but I've also done a castle plan on this tracing paper and behind it I've just got this grunged up coffee stained envelope more of the velvet trim and what I've done is behind I fussy cut out some of the images of these lovely gentlemen and lovely period lady and put them behind the picture frames. I've taken some sewing and made what looks like the latches on a book 
and then if we turn it over you got to see Henry VIII on this really quite grunged up coffee stained envelope and then we've just got another tag that's been placed inside and it might be slightly clearer to see the back of the castle plan and the three little people in the medieval period dress just done as silhouettes I've taken a playing card this is the actual physical pack and I've just put a little bit of the packaging at the bottom and distressed with Tim Holtz this particular page with their um, vintage photo more napkins fussy cut across the page and I've put a really grungy old button which is holding this little piece of paper underneath you've got a nice journaling area and you've also got a panel at the top and then I've taken the threads across to the other side and we've just got a little heart going on well a little bow dare I say it, at the top we've got more images we've got some Buckingham um, notelet paper here which has got some seam binding behind it which can be undone so that is glued behind the actual card and then if we open it up you've got another little character here that I've paint, um, I've coloured in and I've just done some stamping on coffee stain this little notelet up did actually reduce it in size so it could go inside this journal and then that way it can be closed up a little bow put on top and that's neatly tucked away here we have one of the playing cards from the Tudor Rose pack and another one of the cards that's been gifted to me and I've just layered up and we've got a little embossed Tudor Rose in wax here behind so this is an envelope and we've just put a glassine bag on and a few more of those period figures which I've hand coloured in and I've just put short bobbed hair and fur trim sleeves and hem and you can see this in this gentleman here inside we've just got an embossed tag and what I've just done is run a colouring pencil over the top just to make it a little bit clearer and then left the back plain and coffee stained here we have a jam pot cover in the Tudor Rose which I've put all the way around this envelope of these stamps you undo it using the seam binding so historical buildings just a lovely first day cover here of Hampton Court put that to one side and what I've done is, yet again, more coffee stain stationery, that's the Buckingham Basildon Bond stationery. And underneath I've just put this little mask and that works as a tuck. <coughs> Excuse me. Again the napkin of the world and I've just put a little bit of ribbon trim down the outside. We have this cartridge paper here with an old English Stratford-upon-Avon and this is William Shakespeare's birthplace in 1560 my eyesight 64 and yet again you can see I've used a plastic doily to get a much more grunged effect here we have Edward this is um, Henry's son we've just got a little piece of fabric at the top this was dyed using lichens and moss and it came out quite yellow and it does have a unique pungent smell all of its own here is part of the Buckingham stationery but I've actually taken it from the box this was holding the notelets 
and I've just turned it into this side belly band. So we've just got this card here of Edward and the dates. On the other side, just fussy cut out a little bit more from the back of this little belly band because I've just got sort of coming to the end of what I've got in my collection. We've got some period dress here, but this can be lifted up and yet again you've got an area to journal on. And again we've got these lovely images and this has come out of my history of everyday things in England. That's where this particular picture comes from. And I've just wrapped it round. I've got a little clip here. Wraps around the page and then that also works as a tuck spot revealing a large journaling tag and I've just left it, I just this is a piece of actual um, rubbish, this is sort of like, it would have had some buttons on there, this is a bow bunny card and I've just reused it, coffee stained, put some coffee stained paper at the back and yet again more fussy cut of the crowns and the lovely feathers and that tucks behind here. Part of the playing card pack, I've just run a little bit of this floral lace at the back and stuck it onto a gold envelope. We have Elizabeth the First here and she is from a medieval book and inside it just opens up to reveal another handmade tag and on this one I've just got also a um, piece of Mod Podge here that's been sprayed up gold and some stamping. And as we come to the back of the journal, and you can see the sun is beginning to shine through, got another card up here with a little paper clip, the end of the opera, made a pocket very much like the front, and in here we've got my silhouette. So this is me when I was approximately 13 years old that was cut out in France and then some instructions on this particular journal because this one is off to the States to a good girlfriend of mine and hopefully she would like to take the opportunity to try and sell this journal if she's pleased with it on my behalf in Madison. Well guys hope to catch up with you soon and I'd be very interested in reading any of your comments. Catch up with you soon. Bye bye.